Nope. What is up you guys? I'm James from James Shift House. This is my reptile room. You haven't seen me in about a week and a half. Um, maybe almost two weeks. I just, you know, busy with work and the school and all that other fun stuff. But I'm definitely going to keep doing videos. I'm never going to stop. And I just wanted to come at you guys, show you a new snake I got. I might have two. I don't know if I showed one of them, but I'll show both of them. And we're going to take out my big snake today because I finally got a snake hook. So let's hop right into it and I'll show you those snakes first. So these are my two new snakes. This one, I think I did show this one, but I have a pair of ice tesseras. And this one is Anery Het Lava, which makes the ice Anery Lava. And it's a tessera. So this girl, and the other two are eating great. This girl isn't eating very well. Um, so I'm definitely, you know, assist feeding her. Um, and then letting her go for a little bit and trying again and then this is feeding her But you know, she's a corn snake. I give her, you know, a couple more months and she'll be chowing down food. No problem uh, but you know Being a late starter and all I might have to wait an extra year before I try to uh, breed her <coughs> But generally you wait three years before you breed now this snake This was a second clutch that hatched out at Glenn's and four eggs, three visuals, one hat. Um, and I told him, I said, any of those are girls. Even if they're all three girls, I want them. This was the only girl out of it. She's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. The the red turns to white. So this is a reverse Okatee, which is Okatee and Albino. And Glenn actually calls it a fluorescent banded. Um, that's kind of his line. So when I do go to sell them, I'm gonna market them as such, uh, just cause it'll probably help him sell. Um, but this animal is gorgeous, you guys know. I have a couple of these already. I think there's one in here. Anyway, somewhere in these two tubs, there's uh, a trio of reverse Okatees. A female that was uh, bred last year by my friend and given to me. And then a pair that I've been raising up that will be ready to breed this year. So I'll have a trio this year of those. I'll have my uh, striped gold dust stuff going this year as well. And in three years, I'll add this. And in three years, I'll have a trio of ice tessera stuff so hopefully that really uh broadens up you know i'm already feeding them I'm already taking care of them if i can have those producing as well and you know everything goes well gargoyle will start producing lily white maybe add a couple more tanks and uh, really round out my leopard geckos i think we have potential to really really do a killing in the next two three years and hopefully just grow and be awesome let's show you that snake let's show you that vietnamese blue beauty rat snake Now, this is my snake hook. Uh, I got it from, well, actually I got it on Amazon. Uh, MidwestTongs.com, I actually went on their website, the tong, this snake hook was like $30, and it was like 45 extra to ship it. And I went to Amazon and it was $45 flat. So I bought it on Amazon and saved $30. Um, I got the blue hook, just because blue is my favorite color. And I got the extra long one, just because this is the only snake I really need to use a snake hook with. And he's extremely long, so long hook um he's in a 40 gallon right now he's definitely going to get a bigger enclosure before i mean you know sometime soon hopefully uh it's just got to be the right time i got to find the right one i want and i know i was looking for a while they were sold out everywhere and now it's not quite the budget but he's doing all right in this tank but he'll definitely get an upgrade soon so i'm going to take the lid off and we'll pull him out problem is he always tries to go in and out of like the weave with the metal rack so I'm gonna have to get in there get him and not let him get out and also not get bit because I'm not trying to get bit by this seven foot snake I haven't been bit yet by him and I'm not about to So, this is my seven foot Vietnamese blue beauty rat snake. 
And when he starts to climb the hook like that, I don't really like it, but I think it's probably really good for a, a good, nice close-up. Um, so his name is Frederick. Yeah, so this is Frederick. Um, Frederick's longer than me by at least a couple inches. I'd say he's more like seven foot. Um, he's definitely huge when he sheds. And, you know, he hasn't bit me and he's not been striking as much lately. But I'm not really going to chance anything because getting bit by something like that's not going to be fun. I'll be bleeding everywhere and I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be bruised. So, ooh, yeah. Ooh, yep, you can hear him hissing. So he is a Vietnamese blue beady rat snake. Um, they're not, they're obviously not super blue. Um, it's more of a gray. And I don't think the camera's really gonna pick it up, but. No, 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 no. So he is a Vietnamese blue beady rat snake and the camera's not gonna pick it up. Uh, I'm sure he looks more gray than anything. He's definitely not happy with me. Um, but there are some people that have been line breeding them for the blues. Um, I forget the name, but there's one guy who's got some that he describes as like jean, like denim blue. And I've seen pictures and they're pretty nice. They're supposedly even better in person. Uh, but the waiting list for his snakes are about five years and they're very expensive. Um, eventually, I'd like to add one of those in and have my line of that. And then, you know, when somebody eventually produces an exanthic or an albino, I'll probably have those too. So, as you guys know, I like to breed easy stuff. I've got corn snakes, I've got leopards, I've got crusteds. I like the easy stuff. Um, but this will kind of probably end up being my claim to fame, these Vietnamese blue beauty snakes. I'll work with these as long as I have uh, snakes and really um, the goal is to eventually, you know, when they have babies, when I do end up breeding them in about two or three years, um, hold back a couple of nice ones, a couple of really blue ones and sell the rest and hopefully, you know, just build my collection of them. I definitely, you know, I love these guys. I want a bunch of them, but, uh, you know, when they're all as feisty as this guy, it makes it hard to love them. So this is Frederick, my Vietnamese blue beady rat snake. Um, I'll definitely have more videos of him soon and if you want to check out more pictures he's on my Instagram of when I first got him and of course my other female which I can take out for you right now. Putting them back's a pain too because they don't always want to go in. Frederick. This is one of those times I wish I had sliding glass doors in my enclosure. So this is my female Vietnamese blue beauty rat snake. Her name's Esmeralda. Um, you can tell she's a lot smaller. Uh, I, I got her first actually, and then I got the male, but I bought the male from a friend and he's already uh, over a year old. He's actually more than two now. Uh, two year, about two years ago last month, my friend actually bought him and I was there for that. So it was cool uh, thinking about, you know, this is a snake I've known. Well, he was a snake I've known since the day he got bought, you know, a couple weeks old. And now here he is in my collection. Um, so obviously I wouldn't recommend, oh, I wouldn't recommend getting a male first. Uh, it just so happened the male that I bought was bigger. And when she struck just in, she struck with a lot of force. So I try to hold her as much as I can. Obviously, you know, I can't always be holding her, but if she get, bites me like that and you can tell she's already wrapping me, it's not gonna be fun. Um, it's definitely gonna be a bad time, but I really wanna calm her down before she gets his size, because if she's, you know, this, this much attitude is not good. And tomorrow is feeding day, so that probably doesn't help. I'm gonna put her back now.
like I said, eventually they're going to be uh, probably in a rack system, one of those real big ones, hopefully. Um, if not, one of those big uh, bookshelf enclosures that have the sliding doors and it's like four or five enclosures. Something like that is really the end goal for these guys. Because, um, I mean, obviously a 40 gallon, that's not big enough for an adult Vietnamese blue bee snake, especially the way he eats. I mean, he's going to be big. I've mentioned it a couple times, but actually his dad was 12 foot 9 inches which is absolutely huge, but that means in his genes, it's pretty big snake. So he has the possibility to get really big. So I'm definitely gonna, you know, upgrade him eventually. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy. These are my favorite snakes. And you know, I, I work with my collection and I do the best I can to push it forward. But when the time is ready, I went and I got my favorite snakes and eventually I'm gonna get more and eventually I'm gonna get them bigger enclosures. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. This video it means a lot to me because my favorite snakes and I hope it, you know, helps you guys, you know, want to set, set goals and buy snakes that you love. So anyway, I'm James Shannon, Jeff Childs. Make sure to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, James Jeff Childs at gmail.com if you have any questions. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that definitely helps out the channel. And I am on Morph Market if you want to buy ice pods or geckos or any of that stuff. Go ahead and check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.